I'm calling my doctor's office to see if I can get an appointment to um, be sent for blood work or to have my sugar checked, whichever way they do that. Um, my sugar's been very low and I've been super shaky. I'm going to record this for my own, whatever. Oh, I hate calling. <sighs> I'm wondering if I would be able to get in. I don't have anything till the end of January. Okay. Okay. At 11.45. 11.45. Okay, yeah, that works. Alright. Thank you. I get, um, obviously I get in my head and I get anxious about it, but I have not had a, I wouldn't say good relationship with my doctor, but I haven't had Um, I've never felt validated um, or I don't know how to explain it <sighs> taken seriously once you have a diagnosis of like mental illness whether it be anxiety or depression anything you go to the doctor for about physically is just pointed back to well that's just a symptom of the anxiety or the depression or the whatever and, and it's very upsetting to me that it would be like somebody who's overweight and going in and like even my voice is shaky because I just get like frustrated I feel defeated every time um, somebody who may be overweight and is going in and complaining about symptoms and aren't taken seriously just because the doctor's looking at their weight or like does that make sense I'm actually quite surprised the receptionist didn't ask me why I wanted to um, like what was the reason why I wanted an appointment I just feel like <laughs> and this is like my own thoughts but I feel like I feel this way for a reason also that going to the doctor, like even once a year for a checkup or if I'm not like visibly sick, like you can't tell that there's something wrong that it's like, well then you don't need to go. Like there's not enough evidence <laughs> for my reason of being there. So I feel like I shouldn't be going or I don't deserve to go, but I've been super shaky um, and weak and I get dizzy. I went down to the grocery store yesterday and had I not picked a cart to walk around the store with and put my items in the cart, I don't think I would have been able to walk through the store because I was so shaky even after eating. And I'm at a point now where I can tell the difference between physical symptoms of anxiety and making me weak and shaky and maybe there might be something else going on um because it's also not normal to be like you're going to fall to the floor so <laughs> anyway now i'm going to watch this back and listen to what she said on the phone because i blacked out anyway excuse the way that i look and if i oh my god <laughs> if i charlie's like who are you talking to just filming bubby i'm just filming uh, Dad's outside shoveling snow, so if he comes in and I, we're not focused. Let's scare the shit out of me. I have eggs frying in the pan, and it sounded like they just exploded. Okay, hang on. Very flustered this morning. Um, more like afternoon. I don't dare say what time it is. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna post this because I. Kind of just rolled out of bed and it's, well, to be fair, I was awake earlier, but I like stayed in bed and I was on my phone. I wanted to film this yesterday, but um, yesterday would have been better because there was nobody home to interrupt me. Um, okay, let me do this and I'll be right back. <laughs> 
Okay, where can I set you? Right here. So I wanted to film what I eat in a day on keto and I haven't filmed in a little while so it's always really awkward. Um, I also don't know, do I want to film this now or do I want to wait till I'm like ready and have this planned out and didn't just roll out of bed. Mm, but this is like real life so. We also got our kitchen painted. Um, everything's not put back yet, so excuse this. And there's like a, two sides of the sink are full of dishes. I don't know if I want to film like this. I haven't posted in a while. Any content. <laughs> anyway, oh, we also did, well, not we. Mom did our countertops. It's supposed to look like granite, I think, fake granite, but she paint, it's paint. Um, there's still a few spots that she has to do, but uh, yeah, this is what it looks like. And our, um, I was going to say backsplash, our wall color is just about the same as what's in here. Uh, let me see, turn the light on, makes a difference. It is a hair more blue than what's showing up. Uh, on camera this one is called seafoam is that right see seafoam green seafoam I'll get the color and I'll link it in the description for you anyway so it's about the same I'm trying to avoid showing <laughs> everything that's not put back yet um, it's about the same but it's a hair darker in the kitchen I don't know if you can be able to tell this is the dining room and then this also needs to be cleaned and painted and um, we only did the walls not the trim anywho before my eggs burn one second so my plan was to show yesterday what i eat in a day on keto um it's going okay obviously i haven't lost any more weight, but I haven't gained either, so, you know, film when you haven't filmed in a while, and I keep looking at the viewfinder, and I'm trying not to do that. So typically what I have in the morning for keto is, um, I try not to eat breakfast till like 11 or 12. I think my new thing now is going to be 12. Um, I was watching a girl that I follow on Instagram. I was watching her stories last night. And she's not doing keto, but she's doing, I think it's called 16-8. It's intermittent fasting, and she doesn't eat till 3 in the afternoon. And then um, she doesn't eat past midnight. I don't know if I could do those hours, but um, intermittent fasting does work. So I'm hoping with intermittent fasting on top of keto that as she said the weight just flew off and she wasn't eating keto she was eating anything she wanted just in that time period so it's 12 20 now and i'm still in my pajamas and i haven't showered yet so i usually don't eat till 11 anyway i wasn't even doing intermittent fasting before but um that's just kind of like i can't eat right away in the morning but i definitely have to have like something um, I always have my iced coffee, um, for those of you that care to know, this is what I drink, Nescafe Gold, it's the best, you can get the other one, um, this is the espresso, but the other one's like the ground, it's just as good, but what I typically have for breakfast is like a breakfast sandwich or eggs, um, the last few days I've been having two scrambled eggs with half a cup of cottage cheese which I don't know why I didn't realize there was so much protein in cottage cheese, but there's like 15 grams of protein in like half a cup. Um, and because I'm only allowed to have a limited amount of carbs, um, I try and have that in the morning, so then I stay full for most of the day. So what I eat for bread is the Carbonat. It's 
are the hamburger buns, but I use them as like a breakfast sandwich type of deal. Um, so I'll cut that in half and I'll put mayonnaise, two fried eggs, and if we have it, a couple slices of sandwich meat for protein. Um, and then like some cheese to get my fats in, which may seem like a lot, but I don't know. I get weird when I show what I'm eating because sometimes people will say like, oh, that's not enough, especially when you're like doing keto or intermittent fasting. And then some people will say that's too much. We're out of mayonnaise. Um, so I'm using salsa because I can't have dry bread. It's the best salsa in the Newman's. Uh, I get it at Sobeys. Pineapple one and there's a mango one. But I have to be careful with this because there is four grams of carbs per two tablespoons. So I have like a teaspoon just to make the bread a little wet. I was up to 103 subscribers, which made me really happy. But then I went back down. I went back down two again. So I'm at 101. I don't know. I'm gonna try and get these. Oh my God, I look. Like I've been through the ringer. I have mentally, but. <laughs> this uh, jar of salsa, we're not focused. I could eat this jar of salsa by the spoonful. It is so good. Um, it's more sweet than it is like spicy, so if you're not into that, then maybe you won't like this. And then I will just put that on top of here and melt it in the microwave for like 20 seconds. And then that is my keto breakfast. I eat in a day on keto. I didn't eat lunch, don't usually, but I also didn't eat breakfast till like 12. For supper, we are having chicken noodle soup, except there's no noodles. It's just chicken and carrots and onion. So I decided like five minutes ago that instead of doing what I eat in a day on keto, I'm still doing it, but I'm gonna do it for the whole week because that's more interesting and I didn't eat enough through the day to make it a vlog. So, um, I'm gonna film what I eat for the rest of the week and then make that into a vlog. I also just had a beer, but it's a light beer. It's the Michelob Ultra. So I have to count that, unfortunately. I mean, I don't have to, it's not the food, it's the liquid, but there's still carbs in it. So that sucks. How am I one gram over my carbs? Oh, this is annoying, it's not going good. Breakfast was Breakfast was a total of 499 calories. I know this app isn't like exact, but it's close and six carbs. Ow. Uh, lunch was a protein cookie, which was 250 calories and four grams of carbs. And dinner is 280 calories, six grams of carbs. There's a lot of carbs and carrots, which you wouldn't think. I hope doing the intermittent fasting along with the keto is going to help. I just stick to it. I'd be laughing by now if I stuck to it when I started. Here's dinner. I also had more, so don't think I only ate that little. <laughs> anyway. If you have TikTok and you're not already following <laughs> this girl, let me find one of her famous videos. Her name's Maddie, Maddie Jepson. She's so funny. This is one of them.
That, that video has almost 600,000 likes. She has this, I remember when I was scrolling through TikTok and I came across her page, oh, we're crooked. And I saw that and I was like, is this girl serious? But it's like her character that she plays on her channel, which I thought was funny. So Maddie Grace Jepson, she's on Instagram too. She's funny. So we're coming along for day one of what I eat a day on keto. Today is Tuesday the 18th. So, maybe I'll go till Sunday. Film till Sunday. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow.